sail the waters to Lincoln. Sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky. Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No. I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. You're right, he's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred? Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Mercian guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat. This town was your home? It was, and should still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will walk proudly among the people I love. There's damp on the air. I fear grey clouds will gather soon. Aye, and foul How was your father the last time you saw him? Is he was. It too. Quite poorly, but he has the heart of a lion and the Holy Spirit itself within him. A bout of illness would never bring him low. Did he think highly of you? Oh yes, yes indeed. The thanes and clergy of Lincolnshire are not fond of me, but they do not Keep get Keep your chin down and eyes to the ground. Not true. All right, but be wary. I won't be the swiftest sword if this all goes tits up, you should know.
people of Lincoln are not welcoming to Danes. It's troubling, I know. Your folk are strong, hardy, noble. Creatures straight out of stories and tales. No one has heard from We are also a living weeks. people, Hunbo. What's happened? More than a story. Lord We're real. Is surely We're fighting flawed. the Danes to the oh, north. Yes. No, no. This I am He's well aware. With them. Blunt and stalwart, honest and true. No, that can't be true. I have a Dane lady love with all those qualities, you know. You have a Dane lover? And she's a Valkyrie as well, I suppose. Good lord! Why the fuss? Mm. Slinking about in thickets. This was the old bleeding a week. Hey, I'm not precious. I wish I had a girl waiting for me somewhere. Oh. Slinking about in thickets, dog. Of course, that's the fear. I took care of those desires last summer. Hey! Oh, welcome to the place I came from. So alien to me now. So harsh and unwanting. Fear not, Lincoln. I shall be in the place. The house is being watched. What? Where? Uh. Hunwald! Praise God, you live! I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, Dane. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt.
on you! I should not be seen in this area. Lincoln seems a good place to trade. Does he? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house in Oh, from time to time. Yes.
Yasha, Herevri, tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunward, you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbeor. That is all. Lord Hunbeor has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunwald has seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Something on your mind? Eivor, I realize the strides you came to aid me. My oath to you will last an eternity. You'll owe me a blood oath when all our work is done. Blood? Dear Lord. Wait here till I've returned. Can your guard speak through you, Helvril? Can he tell me where the Elderman is? Our lord is not a trained dog who speaks on command. My goodness. When did you last see the Elderman? Leave us be. It is not your place to be asking such questions.
Humboldt's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Are you the head sister? Please, don't hurt me. These poor souls need me. Calm, sister. Lord Hunwald sent me. He asked me to speak with the people here. Hunwald? That's not a name I expected to hear again. No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care.
sed tibi erit ipse benedictus, non vivet in ignorantiae sue providentiae, verbum autum de quod es multis sermonibus, et parum habent significatione. My friend.
synth wave, but has it? What? Me. What choice do we have? At least this way they'll leave us be. They killed one of their own. What's to stop them from splitting our skulls as well? Because they fear us, see? No one takes us for fools. You got it. These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln?
I must be careful now. Smuggling will always be difficult, but I prefer it to paying tribute. Never again will we bend to the mercy and crown.
fighting here? About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits didn't fare so well. Someone took a nasty fall. Noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed this way. Only door that would love to meet this key. Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, 
the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbrock Castle. That's my best lead. Show me 